All right, guys, here's the deal. You know that I am a very budget conscious recreational shooter, but something that's even more important than budget for me is actually convenience, okay? I just wanna spend more time at the range enjoying my firearms and practicing my skills than I spend setting up my targets and packing them back up at the end of the day. So I'm always looking for the most convenient setup, but is also budget friendly. So I'm definitely really excited today because I get to show you this new setup that I have that is hands down the best value, okay? It's super budget friendly, it sets up in seconds, and it's super sturdy and super convenient. It packs up really nice and easily, and I just can't wait to show you. This is awesome. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. Let's get started. All right guys, here's what I have here. These are just your typical fence T-posts, okay? Most of you guys probably already have these laying around. I didn't because I live and travel in an RV full-time. So I actually had to buy these from Home Depot for like three bucks a piece. They're super cheap, but very sturdy, made of steel. But what's really cool are these little hooks that I ordered from Shooting Target 7. Now these are like $5 a pair. I got four pairs so I can hang four targets. And man, they are just genius, okay? Made out of really thick, that's gotta be like quarter inch thick steel so they can take a stray bull it no problem and I'm gonna use the t-posts and these to hang some steel gongs now the deal with this setup is that it's so easy to store in the back of my truck it takes up zero space I just slide them in the back and I leave them there and then I store my gongs up here in my toolbox so that they are ready to go basically whenever I want to go shooting I just grab my range bag and go and I have my full target set up ready to go and once I get to the range well I'm going to show you how easy it is to set these up they go up in seconds all right so I got my three posts set up that was easy as pie it took me like all of 90 seconds maybe like 30 seconds per post and then like I said I've got these steel hooks right here and I'm gonna do this one-handed that's how easy it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and slide one of these suckers on here and bring it down to about mm, right there ish okay you see how it just hooks on right there now it seems really flimsy like it's just gonna fall down but once you put a steel target on this it locks it down it's crazy how well this works so then I put another one over here We'll leave you like right there. And then I'm gonna do another one facing the other direction on top for my next target over. And then another one over here. Now, obviously you do this a lot faster if you're not doing it one handed, right? So, okay. So that looks like it might work okay. Okay, um, now let's hang some targets. All right guys, seriously, how easy was that to set up, okay? We're talking less than just a few minutes and we are set to go with four gongs. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about these gongs because they are super cool. These are 10 inch bullseye gongs, okay? So they're not just one steel target, they're actually two steel targets rolled into one. It's a 10 inch gong and a three inch gong with a three inch hole cut in the middle. The reason why it's so awesome is because you can practice your speed on a 10 inch plate or you can practice your accuracy on a three inch bullseye. Bullseye. Now I actually call these dope gongs because when you hit that bullseye, you're like, oh man, oh dope. But the coolest thing about these, you guys know that I'm a budget conscious shooter, is that while you're getting two targets in one, you're also getting the mounting hardware and it's pre-assembled. So if you were to add up the price of a 10 inch gong and a three inch gong and mounting hardware, this is actually a better deal. Plus it has that hole cut out in the center. But like I said, as a training tool, excellent for practicing your speed and your accuracy. Now that we're all set up, let's have some fun. Let's try this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I actually didn't plan on uploading my review video of this target system just yet, but I actually noticed on the Shooting Target 7 website that they are having a huge Christmas sale right now. So everything is discounted to crazy low prices, the lowest prices of the season. Plus you can use this coupon code CHRISTMAS to save 15%. That's more than my normal coupon code Guns and Guitars, which will save you 10% anytime you shop there. Yes. 
that in. Okay. This is hands down the best deal that you will ever get on AR500 steel targets. But if you use that Christmas coupon code, it actually stacks on top of the already sale price. Combine that with the fact that they always offer free shipping over $99. So if you've been thinking about picking up some steel gongs or now these T-post hooks, I'm sure you're considering. Now is definitely a better time than later. And that's why I decided to upload this video sooner than later. So I hope you guys can take advantage of that. I certainly did and I love it. This is my new favorite shooting system. All right, and this concludes our range session today. So now we have the strenuous process of tearing all this down. And of course, I'm kidding, because this is obviously extremely simple to do. All right. Guys. Clips. Now we toss it all in our truck and head home. How awesome is that? And then once you've tossed your T-post in the back of your truck, I don't know if this is a bonus feature or just a hack that I made up, but I just run a bolt through all of my little hooks and then I can just slide them right onto a T-post. There we go. And as you can see, I am definitely not gonna lose those suckers stay on that T-post. Be ready to go when I need it next. So. Thank you for joining me on my range trip today. I'm gonna head home and get some dinner. And of course, you never wanna leave any trigger trash behind. So of course, you make sure you're cleaning up any extra materials you might have brought to the range. I actually like to pack out a little more than I brought in. I like to think that I help make a difference. So let's go find some brass real quick to pick up. Okay, good deed for the day. If everyone packed out more than they packed in, these places wouldn't look so trashy, would they? If you like this video, you definitely need to check out that video on the rebar target stands that I made. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. I'll see you in the next video.